you back with another video. So today I thought we would unbox my quarterly Blackwing pencil subscription, the Blackwing Volumes box. Um, if you don't know what Blackwing pencils are, they are pencils made for artists and writers. Um, here's one as an example. Um, they have this really cool eraser that you can pull out and that is able to be like taken out and in to be made longer and they're just really really awesome pencils I really love mine and I love getting the subscription because they're kind of hard for me to get around here um, if I get one at a time so I get 12 of them I share them with my daughter and a few other people and then I think I'm gonna start selling the ones that I don't want like the extras on Etsy so let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in me doing that but I'm thinking about doing that on my Etsy shop so let's go ahead and open this box up I have not opened it yet get my cutter here craft knife to cut along where the tape is okay and let's open this up go okay let's take a look at what's inside okay <clears throat> so inside each subscription you get a black wing box like this this little thing ooh they're copper oh, that's so pretty um, and it is a special pencil that stays in this little vial and you can keep as the collector's item so that is the extra pencil you get and then you get a box of Blackwing volumes so this is the Blackwing volumes it's volume 200 it says it's the coffee house pencil oh, okay um, let me get this stuff out of here oh, this is like a cute little burlap bag look at that like this little burlap bag with little stuff on it that's super cute. Am I missing anything else in here? I am not. Let me go ahead and take this out and we will talk about the pencils. Okay, so this is volume 200 and it says that this is the Coffee House pencil. So the interesting part here I'll read. During the 50s and 60s, coffee houses became synonymous with creativity and intellectualism. One such example was Cafe Lena in Saratoga Springs, New York. Opened in a former woodworking shop in 1960, Cafe Lena remains the oldest continually running coffee house in the United States. That longevity has allowed it to host countless creative icons from the beatniks to members of the folk revival and established Cafe Lena as a cornerstone of the creative counterculture in America. That's super cool. The Blackwing 200 is a tribute to coffee houses like Cafe Lena and the creative culture they help cultivate. Each pencil features a metallic copper design inspired by classic copper coffee roasting machines found in many coffee houses during the 50s and 60s. Oh, that's cool. The roasting process begins when the internal temperature of a coffee berry seed reaches 200 degrees Celsius, transforming it into the familiar coffee bean. These pencils also feature our firm graphite core that is perfect for finding inspiration in a local coffee house. So these are firm pencils. Um, the last batch that we got were soft graphite. So that's very interesting. Um, and I'm glad that we're getting something that's different than what we got before. And this cute little burlap bag, I almost want to put it in like a picture frame. It looks so cute um, on like my little coffee nook that I have. Well, that I'm eventually going to have, but I have a little stand now where I keep my mugs. But that's so neat. All right, let's look at the pencils see how they came oh, so they are copper really pretty and they are yeah very nice I am excited let's sharpen one and see how it goes usually I keep six of them between me and my daughter and then we have six left over uh, this was the last one that we got the volumes box for the winter time, I believe. This is the spring. I think this is the spring because it just became spring. So I'm assuming this is the spring volume. But this is the first one that I received of my four that I'm going to get. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and sharpen this. Let me get a sharpener. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to use my little comb sharpener here. We'll go ahead and sharpen this guy. They smell really good. Like a box of new pencils, the really high quality new pencils just has like a really good smell. All right, so let's see here. Uh, look at that, the lead is like right in the middle. It's really nice. You always want the core of your pencil to be right in the middle. Okay, almost sharpened, I just wanna See how it sharpens. So there we have it. Okay, I already tried to film this once, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you that I am going to swatch these three pencils. We're gonna go ahead and do it again. So Let's start with the new pencils today, the Blackwing 200s. They definitely have a harder lead. Um, I would argue this is probably somewhere around an HB lead. Um, just on feel alone, that's kind of what it feels like to me. This is the Blackwing 93. And I can tell you just from feeling, it's definitely softer. You can see that it's definitely smushier. Um, I would put this probably closer to like a 4B. And then the other one that I have here is a Blackwing 602. Pretty famous Blackwing pencil. It's definitely a harder lead. I would put it in between these two, so I would say this one, the 602, is probably a 2B lead. Pretty classically, I believe this has been um, said to be a 2B lead before, so. Um, this is probably the one that I reach for the most often. I do like the Pearl Blackwing too, which is this one here. Um, it's eraserless because I need to replace the eraser, but I don't know where this one falls. The Pearl maybe feels a little bit softer, maybe feels a little bit closer to this. It's really hard to tell. Um, we're really splitting hairs at this point, but this one is definitely, the new ones are harder. And I'm really excited with this box. I like a little bit of a harder pencil. I like that of the two boxes I've received so far, I have two more to go on this subscription, that they are different uh, lead softnesses. I don't think that's a guarantee. So that is really, really nice. And yeah, I really enjoyed this box. I'm excited to put this up in my kitchen somewhere. So that's gonna be it for me here today. I just wanted to take a second and unbox this Blackwing pencils box and show you what is in the new uh, volume set in case you're interested in getting it. I will go ahead and put a link below. Again, I pay for the subscription myself. I just thought I would share it with you. So if you like volume 200, give it a try. Otherwise, just tell me what you think about Blackwing pencils below in the comments. And I hope that this inspired you to make some arts events yourself. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.